Alright, I'm back. I'm going to start my tutorial series here. We're going to start with Commander Decks. Commander Decks, this first video is going to explain the basics of Commander Decks. Um, Commander Decks are 100 uh, card decks, no duplicates except for basic lands, um, and they have a commander. Commander is a legendary creature, um, so it would be 99 plus. 99 cards plus a commander card, so 100 cards. Um, it's a legendary creature, um, and your deck can, it's limited to the amount of colors that your commander is. For example, my Tazri deck, it may just have white in the, in the mana cost, but it has five colors down here, so it's a five color commander. I can use all five colors, and obviously you can use colorless. Um, whereas, you see Ishkana Graph Widow, green and black, I can only use green and black in this deck. Um, so it's a hundred cards, no duplicates except for basic lands. So you'll see there is only one call for unity, there's only one general Tazri, um, and you'll see like dual lands here, I only have one of each, but I could have like five forest, five, you know, uh, five, whatever, five of each land, as long as they're basic, um, you know, I can have, du you can have duplicates of basics, so anyway, it's 100 card deck, um, and there's a lot less limitations, um, you can basically use anything that's legal in, um, is it legacy, vintage, I forget, you, um, but anyway, so, with commander decks, that's, um, really it. It's a hundred cards, um, no duplicates, and one of them is a commander. It sits in the command zone, um, separate from your deck. Um, and base, actually, I make it sound like I'm ending this video. Not quite yet. So the way the commander is played is, see, it's General Tazri, 5 mana, it goes on to the battlefield, someone kills it, I could choose to put it in my graveyard, or put it back in, in the command zone, but if it goes back into the command zone, it costs 2 more than it did, so it would be uh, 7, comes on again for 7 mana, gets killed again, it's worth 9 mana now, um, however, there's like, if people go to exile it, you can choose to exile it, which probably isn't the best. Or you can choose to put it back in the command zone. You always have to fall back with your commander. Um, now, commanders, commander decks tend to be tribal. Not always, but they do tend to be tribal. Um, well, no, I shouldn't say that, but I like tribal commander decks. As you can see, I have a spider deck and a ally deck. Ally deck in the making. Um, so, Commander, is there anything else that I want to say? One minute, I'll be back. Ah, uh, yes, I should state that with Commander, your health total is 40. No, yes, is it 40? I think it's 40. It's either 30 or 40. Um, and then there's Commander Damage. With Commander Damage, um, I think it's 40. Anyway, commander damage, if you take 21 damage from a commander, you lose. Um, so, if I was playing, um, I was, say, I'm playing my Ishkana deck, right? And I'm playing against my Tazri deck. If Tazri, only Tazri, like, um, so... Um, it's commander damage. So uh, even if I was attacking with Resolute Blade Master, that wouldn't count for commander damage. But if I attacked with General Tazri, uh, like seven times, that would be 21 damage. They would then me using Ishkana would lose the game. If it was if it and it's specific for each commander. So, if you're playing against two other people, so I'm playing Ishkana, 
and I'm against a General Tazri and, oh, I don't know, Mina and Den, Wildborn. You'll see them back here. Um, if Mina and Den hit me um, three times, that would be 12 damage, and... Um, Tazri hits me three times. That would be 21 damage in total, but I still wouldn't be uh, dead because I would have only received 12 damage from Mina and Den and 9 from D General Tazri. Um, but yeah, that's the basics of a commander. Uh, I'm fairly certain. I haven't missed anything. But yeah, the next episode should be about um, getting your cards um, and how to get your cards type thing. But yeah, that should be about it. Peace.